everybody, welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we have another WWE Elite figure comparison between Mattel and Custom. Alright guys, so as you know, in the past we have done this multiple times. We did it with Batista, we did it with No Way Jose, and we've done it, I believe, with maybe one more person, can't remember. But here today we have the brand new WrestleMania 33 or 34 Elite Randy Orton uh, right here. And then on the right, right here, we have my custom BEW created Randy Orton figure looking fantastic. And these are two figures that are based off the exact same moment, the exact same night. And I want to do a comparison video to show you how inaccurate and terrible this freaking Mattel figure is. And um, I love Randy Orton, second favorite wrestler of all time, but Mattel totally missed the mark on this. So we're going to get into this comparison and show you how amazing this custom figure is. Alright guys, so starting out with the head scans. If you look at the Mattel one on the left, I don't think it's a completely awful uh, head scan that this is that new face scan technology and I think with those things it's like a hit or miss they either nail it or they're off the mark and right here I think they're off the mark <laughs> but I don't think it's as horrible as their other face scans have been in the past on video it actually looks a lot better than it does in real life in real life it's real shadowy and real like you can see the wrinkles a lot more but um, on the camera, it doesn't look half bad. I think the eyes are really what kind of makes it a little weird. It's just like it's too detailed, maybe. It's like it's not subtle. I think with uh, Mattel head scans, they probably need to go like halfway with each thing. You need to have detail, but you don't need to go overboard to where you're looking like, you know, a hot toy or a freaking SH figure or, or a NECA figure. So with the head scan on the right, this is made by BEW. And if you notice, this is the Elite 35 head scan, but he came in and did some custom work on it and it looks absolutely fantastic one of my favorite randy ordens in my collection it is just so nice he came in sculpted the forehead i believe sculpted a little bit on the mouth removed that terrible teeth paint that they had and i just love this figure i think it captures randy orton really well and um it is definitely uh the the custom from bew that is a perfect re representation of this matchup because the custom wins next up i want to talk about his accessory right here this isn't a bad accessory but it's not accurate okay this is not the hoodie that randy orton wore at wrestlemania 33 he actually had a custom hoodie worn that matched his trunks and his knee pads it was very very dope i can't even remember who made it but it is a very special talented lady i believe on instagram can't remember her name but she is very very talented at what she does so this is not the hoodie that he was wearing however i am happy that mattel made this i have this in cloth form that i love i actually own this hoodie in real life one of my favorite hoodies to wear um, just a huge fan of it. I love the new one that he got as well. Not a big fan on the green one that he wore shortly after this one, but the current one and then this one right here is absolutely great. However, this is not accurate to WrestleMania 33. All right, guys, getting into the trunks right here. This is where I have the biggest problem with the Mattel. Look at those trunks, guys. They're solid freaking black. Look at these pictures of Randy Orton's trunks from WrestleMania 33. And you're telling me that they were okay with putting this out onto the market? This isn't even close to accurate at all. BEW perfectly captures the brown. Um, I believe it was like a snake skin pattern because obviously he's the Viper. So um, if we spin it around here, you will see again that BEW perfectly captures the snake skin pattern. There is blue on top because he used the Elite 35 Randy Orton as the base, but it's just this angle is why you can see it so well. But look at like just this is just terrible. This, there's no heart and soul put into this figure at all. They literally just. Yeah, just print Orton in like a light gray color, which isn't accurate either, and slap it on the back, and then, you know, just slap another one of the that little square thing on the front of his trunks. Yeah, just slap that on there in another light gray color, and it'll be fine. But BEW over here, always doing the best in the world. Look at that right there. He totally nailed that snake skin going all around the trunks. I'll bring up more pictures of the attire so you guys can see how accurate this thing is. Uh, BEW just totally destroyed this custom, man. He nailed it. It's perfect. And I'm so happy with my custom over the Mattel version. I'll probably end up making the Mattel version into something else that Randy Orton wore because I'm perfectly happy with uh, BEW's work, and it is just way, way better than Mattel. 
And going down into the knee pads, guys, on the left is the custom, and again, BEW capturing that snakeskin pattern, and these knee pads are actually accurate. He did not wear the open knee pads on that night at WrestleMania 33. He actually went back to the older knee pads he wore in his younger days, and um, this is what they look like. I'll bring up pictures again. So they never give us the open knee pads for Randy Orton Elites until uh, this one, and it's not even accurate when they finally release it. So that's just shaking my head, bro. That's that's just crazy that they that they missed the mark on this. Obviously, he wore the standard black boots. But, again, Mattel missed the mark on the knee pads, the trunks, and the head scans. So at the end of the day, guys, I think it's pretty clear and obvious that the custom from BEW, the WrestleMania 33 Randy Orton, totally takes the cake. Mattel just couldn't hang this time. I don't think that it was even a solid effort. It was just very lazily done. They didn't get any of the details. They could have at least just put some brown into the trunks and knee pads, but they didn't even bother, guys. Really, really upsetting. The only good thing about this figure is that it's a Randy Orton figure and that we got a WWE Championship. I'll, I'll give the, uh, the hoodie a bonus. I think the hoodie was a good touch, but um, it wasn't accurate. Again, I would have loved to have that WrestleMania 33 hoodie to uh, put on this custom over here, but that's going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Turn on that bell for notifications so that you never miss an MDT upload. Subscribe for more epic WWE and WWE figure-related videos, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.